Hey everyone, it's Jasmine and we are back with another video. In today's video, I am going to be making a sweatshirt. Just wanted to show you guys the process of me making my branded shirts, which is available on my website. All you have to do is go to jasminelore.com and it's right there on the front page of my website. Pick your size and your color and boom, I'll make it and ship it out to you. So just to give you guys an example of what I'm going to be making today, let me back up. It's going to be this shirt right here. It says Sweet Smells of Jasmine. It's going to be, oops, sorry about that. It's not going to have this on it, wherever this is. Um, but it's going to be this color, which I absolutely love this color. I feel like it fits me. And it's going to have gold, my gold logo. And then on the back, the back is going to have this right here. Yeah. So. I am going to be using the um, Gold HTV. This is the brand Caesar, which I absolutely love. I really don't like the Cricut brand vinyl. If you are interested in seeing how I create my branded shirts, then keep on watching. All right, so like I mentioned previously before, I'm going to be creating a sweatshirt. It's blank. I ordered my sweatshirts online. This brand is Gildan, and this is a heavy blend sweatshirt in the size medium and I forgot the color they call this but I'm gonna have it somewhere on the screen so you know which is the same color as my shirt and I got a medium it looks huge but it's not huge on me so I am right now I'm trying to fix up my design a little bit since I don't have a full sheet of vinyl this is the vinyl that I purchased whenever I first got my Cricut Joy and Cricut Joy, you cannot put a full 12 by 12 sheet of HTV in there. It's for smaller projects. So when I got this full sheet, I cut it down so it could fit in the Cricut Joy. It's a kind to me whenever you are making shirts. Um, using a Cricut Explore Air or a Cricut Maker, you can have a full sheet and put it on your mat, which is sticky. Um, and I could cut out my design all in one go. However, in a Cricut Joy, you can't. So, this is all the gold sheets that I have left. So, I'm going to have to cut out my design in bits and pieces. Another reason why I don't like doing it that way is because when it's time to place the design on the actual apparel, uh, you have to make sure that it's straight. Make sure that it's apart enough from each other. When I do it on one sheet, it's already straight. It's already on one part. Like it's like in the exact positioning that I want it to be. So, hey, it's okay. Let me clear off my desk area, which is what I should have done before I came to you guys. And I'll be right back. All right, so usually I do my work on my computer and sometimes my iPad or my phone. That's the best thing or the pro to making your own apparel with the Cricut is that everything is hooked up to Bluetooth so I'm able to do all of my work from my computer my iPad or my phone but today since I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my design which is fairly simple um I'm going to screen record on my iPad so you guys can see so let's go ahead and switch over
all right so now it is time to get your material ready so i have this protective mat right here whenever i'm doing my heat pressing i got this off of amazon so it came in like what four or five pack different sizes so i'm using this as the protective base for my garment now here is my product right here now we are going to be working on the back first and i found a guide um just by googling um that was my heat my heat press warming up it's done but i found a guide on google that lets you know like as far as measurements um how to measure how far down to measure where to start um placing your material so i'm going to be using this today this is um htv tape so if you have cuts that are separated like what i have then it is smart to get something like that um just so that you can put your placements tape them down until they won't move pretty much all right so tools to have by you whenever you are pressing on material is have a pair of scissors like so okay definitely a pair of scissors because you want to make sure that you are um, cutting your material or your HTV your design so you can place it down good and put it close to each other so usually from the collar on down so tape measure another thing you have to have so on the back all of my designs I like to start it at four and a half inches down from the collar all right so my first design that's going down is this part the first part says if you stay dirty so I am just gonna line this up together and just fold the top like so and that marks the middle of my design so that I know where I can where I need to place it so I'm gonna now if you want to get even more precise you can always measure the seam from this arm to the seam from this arm and it is 21 inches wide which is about 10 and a half inches is where your middle would be right okay so if you want to be like me and do the most then you would have another uh, measuring tape and then you would measure your collar to where you want your actual design to be which is four and a half inches down from the collar I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself you want to have a lint roller close to you because you want to get rid of all of the lint on your material before pressing on your design so that's me getting ahead of myself So this is my heat press and I'm just going to press around it. I have my heat press set to 315 degrees and for an everyday iron on HTV, you want to press it for 30 seconds. And this is why I need a bigger press simply because I would like to press everything that I am um, putting on the material at one time. Alright, so let's go ahead and place this. Starts right here. I'm gonna make sure that it is straight. So you wanna measure the top of your design to the four and a half inch mark, which it is. And then I'm just gonna make sure that it's straight. 
and then lay that part down. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I have what we created today on. I'm very pleased with the placement of my logo. If I want, I could come a little bit over, but then I feel like it would be a little bit too much towards the middle, but this is good enough. Unfortunately, I don't have sweatshirts on my website. I do have my regular shirts like the one that I currently have on underneath that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video in different colors so you can pick your color out. I may come out with some sweatshirts later on once it gets towards the, the fall, like the winter air um, season. And I may have some long sleeve shirts as well. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know in the description box below uh, because I know like even right now there are some states that are like snowing. So just let me know in the description box your thoughts on that. Make sure you guys check out my website at www.jazzmillary.com. I have lots of good goodies on there. Like, pretty really, like, my storage rack. It's pretty full right now. And that's my curing rack. I got my wholesale order curing, you know, goat's milk, and my gumbo bar. So, I have a lot of things going on. I do have a lot of good things that's on my website that's beneficial um, for you and your skin. And just, like, your lifestyle in general. So, yes. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.